Hey friends, this is the part we've all been waiting for. We're going to put together our nesting boxes and Mark is going to show us step by step what we need to do and there is a reason for doing it in the order that we're doing. So follow along closely and we will be doing this together later. Okay, we're going to start with the two sides and the back. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is going to be our right side when we flip it over, but it's going to be on the left because we're working backwards. So that's on the left, and then the back, this is the back of the back. This is the inside. So we want to get this this board and this board flush. So you'll be able to feel with your finger if they're, if they're even. If it sticks out a little bit, you'll be able to feel that. Your, your fingers are very precise. So you want to get flush here and flush on this side. And because the nail holes are already drilled in this piece, we can just drop a nail in just like that. You can push it right down. Once you've got this all where you want it, then you can take your hammer and just tap that in. Just like that. So that's set. All right. I liked how you were keeping your hand way away from where you were hammering, too. That was a safe way to do it. Yeah. Okay, so then we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get there's another nail hole up at the top here. Because we've already got the bottoms flush, now we just need to make sure that at the top, this part of it and this part are flush. So we just put the other nail in there. Just double check it again. So that side is done. Now this side is the one that has the bevel. And we're going to only put one nail in this so that you can open and close this side. So again, we want to get this end flush right there. And it's flush there, and now we want to make sure that it's flush up here. We're going to take another nail, put it in the top. And nail that. Okay, now we're going to flip the whole thing over. And we're going to put the front on. So here's the front. And we want to make sure, you see all these tiny little holes here? Those are for nails. This one is countersunk just a little bit, so it has a bigger hole, and then a, it's a little bit bigger uh, hole all the way through, but then it also has a countersunk part of it. And that's going to be on the right-hand side, because that's what's going to, you're going to be able to open and close your box, your side with. So you want to make sure that this hole goes with this piece, this beveled piece. So again, we're going to make sure that we're bottom, the bottom is flush, and then make sure that it's flush up at the top, and we're going to put a nail at the top of this one. And that's going to, that'll allow you to pivot this piece here. This one later. Okay, so now we just need to flush up this side of it. Looks like you might have to squeeze it a bit just to a make sure bit. it's lined yeah. up. Yeah, mm -hmm. just make sure that it's all lined up well. There we go. And then we do the 
same at the top. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to do the top. And you'll notice that the top has only one hole in this corner. And again, that's because we want to be able to move this top out. So this is, this is the top of it. It's rough. This nail hole will go into this piece. There won't be a nail hole in this one. And then these two go into this piece here. So it's giving us a little bit of an overhang, kind of like a porch, yeah. for the birds when they're going through the hole, they don't get wet. They so we, can peek out and not get wet. We can just push all of these nails in. surfaces flush with each other. And these nails are going to be easier to drive in than these nails were because we're going into the end grain. The grain is going this way, so the nails will go in easier. When they're going across the grain here, it's a little harder nails. So, there's the bottom, or the top, I'm sorry. And now, <clears throat> we've got our bottoms, and we put the rough side out, and it's going to just fit right in there. So let me get this set for you. And this one's a little tight, so I'm going to have to just kind of tap it like that. And I'm just getting this flush again. And actually, if you want, if it sticks out a little bit, you can just tip it over like that and push on it. So you were tapping that kind of gently with the hammer, right? Mm -hmm. So that, because otherwise it might just go all the way up into the house. Right. So we want it to just line up and be flush. Yeah, so actually if, if you leave this out this way just a little bit, then you can just turn it over and that'll flush it up for you. Great. So now we need to put two nails in the front here. in the back. Just double check that that's flush. And now if you hang this over the side, then you have a, this is a good surface to hammer on. If it's like this, you can still hammer it, but it's a little harder. It's, you can hang it off the edge and it's a lot easier. just have two more nails to put on right here and this time because you're you're nailing into this board here you're gonna have to hold that up and it might be helpful if you have somebody help you with this at this end I'm gonna just put a couple of boards underneath here to hold it for me and so we can't just hang it with that over the edge again well you, not so much. It, not so much because it's going to drive. Um, because we have these other nails in, it should be fine. But it's going to want to push it mm. that way. We don't want that. Yeah. So let's try it this way. Let's try it and see what happens. <laughs> okay. okay. Worked 
out. There you go. Oh, it's so Ooh. cool. Okay, now we've got two nails over on this side. This is the this is the side that's not um, that's not going to open up. See, it doesn't have the bevel, so it's going to get two nails at the bottom. side opens up for us. This is the last step. So we've got this hole right here and that's where a screw is going to go in. So we're going to use the drill. It has an eighth inch bit, uh, bit in it. Because this is already drilled we know where we need to drill. Just drill down a little bit. Okay, so let's get a screw here. So the tools that we'll be using to assemble our nesting box are the hammer and screwdriver. That's all we're going to need. And that does it. There you go. Awesome. Our birds are going to be so happy. Imagine how many birds are going to stop in Fort Orford and make their homes. Thank you so much, for Mark, for doing this project mm -hmm. for us. It's so cool. We're doing all this, and once we have all the skills to do all this, and we've learned a lot about woodworking, our next big project is going to be to make a little free library for our community. So there'll be more about that coming out soon. So thanks for watching.